My favorite Slednex movie is definitely Slednex 4 because um, I was able to sit in the editing room with Jason. I think I, I spent probably two or three weeks up there with him. And, and uh, it's, it's not only my favorite because of that, but I think at the time it was, it kind of ramped up to bring it to the level that it is today. Two was big just because we made it through the first year and Cameron Elliott and Cody Hansen were launching these huge jumps and I think two was pretty good but four, we used some different music, we used some, some kind of groovy tunes um, and the sport was really, at, at, at four I think we, we just kind of knew that it was, it was on its way and it was ramping up and you know to, to make some comparisons to Slednecks in 98 when we started and, and compare it to 2012 you know I really think we were we we're kind of outlaws and it was fun it was fun to be a rebel back in the day you know and I still have that rebel side of me that I miss I miss it every day I mean there's so many times when I just think about how good we had it back in the day and you know I think there were times when we didn't know how good we had it now we can look at it today in 2012 and say what a ride it's been, you know? <laughs> God, how many highlights is there? There's a lot. The highlights, man. Corbis Coular is uh, at the Jacksonville Mountain Resort. It's a world-renowned Coular that people come from all over the world to ski. Um, I think I skied it probably a dozen times that winter, and, and each time I went in there, I just kind of thought, you know, I think I can do this on a sled. It was before, you know, even today. It's now it's pretty small. Back then, it was pretty big. And I just knew it could get done. And um, Corbett's, even to this day, people come up to me and uh, they don't know that I've won three world championships in hill climbing. They don't, they could care less. But they do know that I jumped into Corbett's on a snowmobile. That's what they, they'd rather talk about that. Oh man, the consequences were, it was a $2,000 fine that they withheld a thousand of it. So it was a thousand dollar fine and it was going to be two years on National Forest probation and it ended up being a year and uh, the ironic thing about the whole deal is that I met my wife, well, I've known my wife for a while and her dad is actually the guy that wrote me the ticket for jumping into Corbett's so it's been a we have some interesting dinner conversations at time let's put it that way you know he's he's a good guy I love him to death but uh, the consequences it were almost worth it, you know. It was uh, it might have been like six appearances in court, I think. It was a pain in the butt, but I wouldn't have changed a thing. You know what I would have changed is I should have gone back up there and just jumped off it a bunch of times and left bomb walls all over until I couldn't do it anymore. That's my only regret in the whole deal. My the highlights that I have are, is like I said, is just to be a being part of something that has been successful it's been something that people look up to I have little kids come and say hello and they're so excited when they find out who I am that I'm a sled neck and here I am just a normal guy and uh, a lot of my highlights are the friends that I've made the people that I've gotten to know the sponsors that have taken care of me it's just one big happy family now and I never thought it was ever gonna get to this point I'm just proud. I've told you that before. I just feel like I'm really, really proud to be a sled neck. <laughs>